Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to work on viewing the message and hopefully if we have time composing the message and all of that stuff as a customer. Now, I wouldn't blame you if you're thinking, well hang on, we've done this before, right? Do you remember this with the admin panel? We've done all of this. Yes, we have. However, there's a couple of uh, key concepts here that I want to give you that I actually think are quite important. So, with your permission, let's get cracking. Now, the first thing that I want to say is that when we click into a message here, the last thing we want it to do is say, like, do you see how the URL says, like, view 946, you know, and we've got the, the message number here. Can you see that going on, right? So, all over the admin panel, it's like, here's inquiry one, you know, and we have these numbers. Obviously, we do not want the customer to know uh, how many inquiries we've got coming and going and how busy the shop is or how quiet or anything. There's really no reason for the customer to be let in on that kind of information. That's private information. So when they are actually viewing an inquiry, we are not going to give them an ID via the URL. We are going to give them a code. Can you handle the vibe? It's going to be a code. So, let's open up the inquiries table and we'll click on structure. And I'm actually going to add uh, a couple more columns to the inquiries table. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add, let me just see. Hang on, I'm lost. Right, click on structure. We're going to add two more columns after opened, right? The first column is going to be called code, and I'm quite happy with a variable character of six, okay? And the next column we're going to add is going to be called urgent, and it's going to be a tiny integer, and it's basically going to be a one or a zero, so we'll just say length is one, okay? So two new columns, code and urgent. Let's save those, and we've now got this code column everywhere. Now, we at the moment, the inquiries don't have a code, so we're going to have to build a little fixed script here in inquiries. So let me just open up inquiries, and we'll just build a thing that says fix, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to get all of the inquiries ordered by ID. It's going to loop through all of the results for each query loading up result as row. It's going to uh, add in a code, so that's going to be this site security. Now, site security, remember, has a vibe for generate random string. Okay. So it's going to do that. The length is going to be six. That's all we need, you know. And then it's going to do an update like that and it will do an update on row ID and it will update the code like so and so to get all of this done we just need to go this load module site security and then at the very end I'll just say finished okay so if we go to inquiries forward slash fix hopefully PHP will be powerful enough to handle all of this. Here we go. Okay, and it says finished. That's good. And if we look at the table, you'll now see that all of the inquiries have got a code. Okay. So now we really are ready to build the view message thing and yes, we shall go on to compose message and all of that stuff. Now, key concept number two, you've heard me say this before, if you have a module that has CRUD going on and let's say you've got uh, customers using that CRUD stuff, doing some sort of CRUD uh, and also admin and who knows who else, then it's worth building another module so that people don't trip up over each other. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's go into the modules folder here and I'm going to make a brand new module up uh, and we'll call this one Your Messages. 
okay? So whenever customers are building messages, viewing messages, and all of that stuff, there's not going to be a table called your messages, but we're going to handle that stuff on this module called your messages. Now, there shall be no models folder. We don't need that because it's going to be referencing inquiries, right? So I'm just going to take a few moments to set this up. We've got your messages and we'll head to the top of the thing here. We'll set this up. So we've got your messages. Uh, we don't need to do any of this model business here. That can all go. And that's us ready to rock. So now let's open up the file called customer inbox, okay? Customer underscore inbox. And I want you to find the bit that says view URL equals and it's got some stuff. And the vibe is we're going to change this so that now instead of going to inquiries, it goes to your messages. Uh, then it goes to forward slash view and then row code. Okay, forget about ID. That's the vibe and that is the view URL. So now, when a customer is in the inbox and they click onto a message, right, they press this view button, it's going to go to a URL that looks something like this, okay? And yes, it shall be kind of similar to inquiries view. Do you remember we built that for the admin uh, or the site owner, okay? So I'm gonna copy that and take it across. However, there shall be a few key differences here. The first key difference is that in site security, we're gonna be just running make sure is logged in, okay? Because this is for customers. Does that make sense? Yes, I think it does make sense. Next, remember, we don't have an update ID coming in via the URL we have got a code coming in. So it's the code that's this URI segment three, okay? And I'm gonna open up the inquiries module here. And the vibe is something like this. Do you remember on store accounts, we had a thing called get with double condition. It was in store accounts, okay? I'm going to copy that from store accounts and I'm going to take it over to inquiries and I'm going to paste it in somewhere sensible underneath get where. I'm pasting in get with double condition because it's going to come in handy, okay? And it's going to MDL inquiries. Okay, next I'm going to open up, I'm going to save that. I'm going to open up MDL inquiries. And indeed, I'm going to open up MDL store accounts and I'm going to find the thing on store accounts for get with double condition and I'm going to copy it to MDL uh, inquiries, right? And again, I'm pasting in somewhere sensible. I would say underneath the get where is just fine. However, look out. Remember, this was doing an or where. We, we don't want that. We want all conditions to be in the affirmative. So I'm going to delete that. And that's the vibe, okay? Inquiries is now loaded with this get with double condition thing. And that's going to come in very handy for us. Because on your messages, here's what we can do. We can, uh, let's stick with tradition and we'll load the module at the top of the code. I don't always do that, you know, but I'm trying to be neat, you know. Um, so the vibe is I've loaded up the inquiries module and now I'm going to say uh, query equals this inquiries get with double condition. So let's clarify the variables, okay? Column one is going to be sent to okay and column oh sorry value one is going to be customer id and some of you are saying well hang on we don't have a customer id well we have now we can just copy from site security we can just head on in here and we can say in fact let's just be super cool here let's just say value one is this site security get customer id okay so we now have value one right column two equals code 
and value to equals uh, the code variable. Okay, so look at this, we've now ran a get with double condition. And if anyone was watching this thinking, well, the code's only got six characters, man. Should we not have like, I don't know, 32 or 64 or something? Uh, will six be enough? Well, there's your answer. See, see, we are checking with a double condition. So this is absolutely rock solid. We can even say num rows is query num rows, and if num rows is less than one, you know, they're not allowed to be here. Site security not allowed, something like that. So this is solid. Do you hear me, people? Yes, it is solid. So now I'm going to say for each query loading up result as row, update ID equals row ID. Now, hallelujah and hello Honolulu. We've now figured out the update ID from the code, okay? Okay, now this vibe is about to get a whole lot more cool because we can now open up the inquiries controller and you know how we've got a fetch data from DB thing going on here? Here it is here, okay? Well look, what say we borrow some code from that we head over to the your messages thing and we paste in like that and look at that we've now got a whole bunch of stuff that can come in handy we can load up the time date module up the top here time date and then well we've got this date created thing i'm just going to say date created is blah 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 and then down here i'm going to say data date created equals this time date get nice date and I'm adding in date created the format is going to be full uh, so that's all good uh, I'll add in everybody's favorite PHP function nl2br on this message thing so that's kind of cool as well and this is all looking fine. Now we've got set to opened here, but remember folks, that's on inquiries, right? So we'll need to add that. Let's just space up here, we'll keep it nice and tidy. Um, we do not need the headline. I'm gonna make this page look different from the previous one. So we don't need the headline. We definitely don't need to do the query. We've already taken care of that or passed the query in. We don't need to do that, okay? So the vibe is, now we just make up a view file, like so. Okay, I'm going to save that. And now uh, I'm going to build this view file up so that people can look at the inquiry. Okay, so what we'll do, I think, is we'll start off with a little paragraph and we'll say message sent on and then we'll have date created in there okay and i'm going to space this down a little bit like this margin top 24 and then i'm going to do an h4 tag okay and inside the h4 we're going to have the subject okay and then we'll have another paragraph here and inside here we'll have the message okay with a lowercase m so that should be a nice little page for viewing the message let's have a look we click in oh gee right okay ha <laughs> that was today's obvious uh, and deliberate mistake of the day this is calling the admin template but obviously we want the public bootstrap template okay so save refresh and that's not too bad. I think some of the spacing could be better though, right? So let's just quickly sort that and that'll be us finished with this video. Um, I'm gonna space out the H4 and I'll say margin top. Let's go with 48, okay? So lots and lots of breathing space, right? Uh, and that's gonna look something like that. And the last thing I'm gonna do is you know, when people have to read right across the page, it's not ideal. There's a lot of eye movement and it's not, whoops, sorry, it's not particularly comfortable. 
I bang the microphone there with a little pop filter thing. So anyway, check this out. I'm going to go to Get Bootstrap. And we've got this grid system thing here. And I can never remember the code for any of this. But I'll copy this vibe here. Okay. And the message thing with message sent on is okay and all of that, I suppose. But actually, do you know what? Let's put it right at the top here. Right at the top. There we go. And we'll just do that. Bring everything in a bit, you know? So, how on earth is that going to look? Let's uh, check it out. Okay, refresh. And that's quite nice, you know, it's a nice size, everything looks nice, I think I'm feeling kind of good. And check this, if they go back to the inbox, look at the envelope, see, everything's good, see? Do you see how the envelope goes, goes from orange to black? And these pages look really nice. I am happy, I'm happy, hope you're happy too. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video, bye.